Hi everyone, today we are going to be reading a story about Thomas Edison, and he was a great inventor in the past. So the title says Thomas Edison Inventor. Okay, so chapter one. Young Tom Edison asked lots of questions. When someone told him, I don't know, Tom had one more question. He asked, why don't you know? He did lots of experiments to find out. Tom watched a goose sit on some eggs. He saw the eggs hatch. He wanted to know what would happen if he sat on eggs. So Tom made a nest. Then he put goose and chicken eggs in the nest. Next, he sat on the eggs and found out. Splat! Young Tom also knew that birds ate worms and birds could fly. What if people ate worms? Tom guessed that they would fly too. So he gave a girl a cup of chopped worms and water. The girl drank it and got sick, and she didn't fly. Tom Edison, the boy who asked all those questions and did those unusual experiments, became the man whose inventions changed the world. Tom Edison was born in 1847 in Milan, Ohio. He was the seventh and youngest child of Sam and Nancy Edison. Sam had a lumber mill. Nancy had been a teacher. When Tom had trouble in school, his mother became his teacher at home. Chapter 2 Young Tom did many of his experiments in the cellar of his home. He had lots of jars of chemicals. He wanted to keep people from me messing with them. To fix the problem, he had an idea. He wrote poison on each jar. He thought that would keep others away. He was right. There were often smoke, strange smells, and loud noises in the Edison home. It all came from the cellar and from young Tom's experiments. Tom needed money to pay for chemicals and other things. As a result, he got a job when he was 12. He sold newspapers and candies on trains. Then at 15, he began to write, print, and sell his own newspaper for travelers. He named it the Grand Trunk Herald. Tom wrote news of people he met on the train. He also wrote how he felt about work. The more, he t the more to do he wrote in his newspaper, the more done. Tom liked to keep busy. Tom kept very busy on the train. He even set up his own lab in a baggage car. As Tom got older, he kept doing great things. There were no telephones at the time. Instead, messages were sent through telegra telegraph wires. They were sent in a code of dots and dashes. Tom learned the code. He got a job sending and reading telegraph messages. He found new ways to use the telegraph. Those were some of his first inventions. When Tom 
Chapter 3. When Tom grew up, he became an inventor. He invented all kinds of things that helped people. At that time, burning gas lights lit homes and streets. Sometimes smoke from the lights filled a room. Sometimes fire from the lights burned a home down. Tom was sure he could make a better light, so he did experiments with electric light. He had lots of ideas. His notes filled hundreds of notebooks. After more than a year of work, Tom did it. He made a light that was safe to use. The electric light is the light of the future, Tom said, and it will be my light. Edison's lights were big news. People came from all over to see them. Once they saw the Edison lights, they wanted them in their homes. Tom's lights brightened the world. Tom Edison spent his whole life making great things. The things he made helped people everywhere. And then here's some real photographs of him. So it says Thomas Alva Edison at 15. Edison invented the first machine that could record sounds and play them back. Without this, we might have no music players or movies and TV with sound today. Edison made this early music player using his own sound machine. Then on the next page, the picture of him at the top says Thomas Edison in his job in Menlo Park, New Jersey. The light bulb says Edison's light bulb design looks similar to ones we use today. And last of all, Edison invented the first machine for viewing films. Without this machine, there would be no movies. Wow, what an interesting story. So maybe you have lots of questions too, and you can also be a scientist and experiment. Okay, bye everyone.